Did you ever have any doubt about the fitness of this president to I serve? I never did. Any doubt about his mental acuity? I never did. Any question about his truthfulness, his ability to tell the truth? Savannah, I talked to him multiple times, and when I had issues, he always heard me out. I never had any concern on whether he could handle the job, and ever. You know, I have made up my mind. I mean, impeachment is literally the worst punishment you can do to a public official. And here you've got a situation where... There was no investigation, and the aid flowed as it was supposed to. So when you look at that situation, it's hard to see where impeachment would qualify for that. Can impeachment is serious. It's the most serious thing you can do to a president. The other side of this is we are less than a year away from the election. Instead, let the people decide. Let them hear the testimony. That's fine, but let them decide. I think it's never a good practice for us to ask a foreign country to investigate an American. It's just not a good practice. Having said that, there's no insistence on that call. There are no demands on that call. It is a conversation between two presidents that's casual in nature. And, you know, it's just hard to find anywhere that the president of Ukraine would have thought funds were being held and that he had to do this. Well, Americans should want to know the answer of, did Biden pressure the prosecutor to you know, to do what he did. And I think there's a real question there. You can question the president, but you also have to question what Biden did. We should ask, was Biden's position abused? I was a governor. And if people in my cabinet tried to undermine me, it's very dangerous. Did you say that right then and there to them? Hey, guys, this is way out of line. They totally knew that I was not going to be with them. Because did you say that? You say to the president later, hey, you got two guys working against you. The president was aware, yes. You told him? Yes. If you disagreed with getting out of the Iran deal, if you disagreed with moving our embassy or getting out of the Paris Climate Agreement, go tell the president. And if you still don't like it, quit. That news conference was globally condemned because of that moment. But you were the only person in the administration who said, hey, that didn't look so great. That's what he told me. Do you hold Russia at all accountable for... Anything in particular? I hold uh, both countries responsible. I think that the United States has been foolish. I think we've all been foolish. The probe is a disaster for our country. I said, look, this sounded soft. And he said, really? John Kelly was in the room with me when I had this meeting. And he looked at John and he said, all of you guys said I did great. When I had my cabinet, what I asked my cabinet was, be creative, help serve the people, yeah. And tell me if you see something wrong. I did for him what I wanted my cabinet to do for me.